Let's talk about regret. My name's Ashley Adamson. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like talking about personal growth development topics, please like and subscribe. We're gonna jump into all sorts of philosophical discussion. And this is all about the inner work. It's not about the outer work. You can go find your YouTube makeup channels about that. What I wanna do today and what I do when on my channel is we dive into these deeper topics. So let's talk about regret, shall we? Um, so one should live life without regret. That's kind of a paraphrase of a saying. Wouldn't you say something that you hear, live life with no regrets, live life in the moment, do the thing that feels right. Um, and yeah, we can all agree with that. But when you're put into the situation where you have to make these choices, sometimes it gets really hard, doesn't it? And you don't have all the information that you would like to have to make those decisions. I remember when I was 12 and I was looking in the mirror and saw maybe there could be a woman there. But, oh well, I wasn't born a woman, so that's the end of that. I'll just keep on being a man. Have you had a thought like that? Being a man or being a woman? Those thoughts are small at first and they can kind of lurk in the background. You can never know, you may not even notice them. But once you have the answer to yourself, history is kind of 2020, right? Things can, piece, can be pieced together, you'll understand it. And so when you look back, all of a sudden you can say, well, I wish I did that. I wish I did this. Have you had that? I feel like given what we all know about ourselves now, we have some kind of regret. And it takes time to work through that. I wish I didn't say this to that person. I wish I did that. For me, I wish I just would have known that when I had that dream when I was five and I was saying goodbye to my feminine self, that that's what I was doing. And that I was hiding my feminine being because I was afraid the divorce and the family and all of this stuff. I was basically sacrificing myself for the family, which my friend, by the way, told me is a very feminine thing to do. And I regret the fact that I spent most of my life not being a woman. I wish I would have had a lot more experience as a woman. And uh, I think youth is is a part of that for trans women, especially trans women, because you're occupying being a woman and you're being trans. And women are culturally valued being younger. Everyone's culturally valued being younger and women more particularly. You don't see a lot of 50 year old women dating 30 year old guys or 20 year old guys. But the other, other way around is that happens. It's societally acceptable. And so when I think about my own personal regret, before I go into that, where are you like feeling this regret? When I think about my own personal regret, I just think about how much earlier I could have done things. And this is the peace that we have to make with ourselves. I can't regret the things that I've done or not done. I've had those moments. Have you had those moments where you realize you should have done something you didn't, or you didn't do something and you should have, and it kind of plagued you and you, you lost sleep over it or you just kept thinking about it. It leads to nowhere. It doesn't make you happier. It doesn't make you, it doesn't make you a better person. The only thing you can do from something that you would regret is to go, hmm, this is what I should have done. Check that box and move on. That's the most thing you, that's the most, most you can do. That's the most positive thing you can do. Make it a learning experience. So when you're looking at the things that you've regretted in life, how can you use that, those experiences to inform your decisions now? That's the positive message in this. And the biggest thing that I would have regretted looking forward into time is that I would have never known if I would have been a woman or not, or that I would have enjoyed it. But I didn't have to live with that regret because I saw that regret coming. 
And I think this is a beautiful exercise for some of y'all that may have not, not transitioned or are trying to make a big decision. Move yourself forward into time and imagine what it would be like being there. And would you regret not making that decision or would you, would you uh, be happy with that? Take yourself there. Where is it in your life that you want to make a decision and you should do something for yourself? Can you see what it'd be like if you made that decision? So now when I look back at my history and I look back, oh, like I wish I would have transitioned younger, I just have to say that was something that I can accept now. I made that decision even though it was unconscious and that's what happened to me. And I had this other life that may be less, less ideal in some senses, but there were trade-offs that I didn't even know that I was making. Being able to be a cis male helped me in my career. It helped me realize that my personality was more important than just my looks, um, or that I'm a woman versus, or that I'm a trans woman and people are treating me differently because I'm a trans woman. There's, there's positives that I can find. And I think that's really important to make meaning with your life and to come to peace with the choices that you made in life is to understand that you kind of did the best that you did and there were some good things that came out of it. Regret is also kind of like this fire. It, it's the fire under your butt because next time you're con faced with a, a point where you have to make a decision, you can go, definitely don't want to regret not doing this, so I'm going to do it. And that may be the only thing you need to really start making life-changing decisions. I made a video about stepping into your truth last week or the week before, and I think like if you don't step into your truth, that's a life full of regrets. So I wanted to end it there. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear from you. And um, I hope you're doing well today. You're not alone in this. I'll see you next time. Bye.